Okay. Can we go quiet, please? Cell phones on silent, please, everybody. Roll camera. CC. AC. AC. Mark. Oh, we didn't get that. Mark. Like I'm, I'm nervous. It's, uh, it's great to be here with you, man. I, I uh, thanks, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I've always been a big fan, and uh, no, I really appreciate that. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. It's just that when you respect somebody as much as I respect you, do you mind if I look at you in the eye, or do you want me to look down? I mean, you can, you can look at me. You can look at me. Look at you. My eyes. Look at my eyes. You have this, this new show, Out of Range, which I wanted to watch the whole thing. They started sending me all the episodes, but I saw the first two episodes and my God, man. I mean, that prayer scene in, in episode two is incredible. Can I pray? Hmm? I wanna pray for the supper. All right. What was it like for, God, I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. I haven't, I appreciate that. I've been a big fan of yours too for a long time, but I haven't seen a lot of your work, but uh, some of it, I saw that, uh, The Goonies, yes. So good, so good. Haven't you ever heard of that guy, what, what's his name? The pirate guy, One-Eyed Willie. You know, I, I did No Country for Old Men, which was a big turning point for me, and I hadn't done a Western for a while, and even though people really associate me with Western work, I hadn't, I haven't really done a lot of Westerns. I did a series when I was in my 20s, my early 20s, Young Riders, and then I did No Country, and then I ended up doing True Grit, and I mean, I don't want to give my whole resume up here, but, um, so it had been a while, so I, I talked to my agent, and I was like, you know, I would really, I would love to look for something like that. Um, have you done a Western? No? They're a lot of fun to do. It's gritty, you're out in the elements and all this. So this outer range thing, it was really a straight Western, but being able to kind of look at life in a different way was really attractive to me. I want dead land. Why? <laughs> Amazing cast that I got to work with. Lily Taylor and Will Patton, Tom Pelfrey, Imogen Poots. You know, it just felt like a very unpretentious cast. And, and uh, I don't know, just being out in the middle of nowhere above Santa Fe was amazing. No pretense, or, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't know if it's your nerves that are starting to get me, but I'm starting to feel nervous now. And, and it's not because of your work, but it's just more because of your presence, I guess. Um, if you could just kind of like take a breath, it would be great, it'd be great. It's kind of like an acting exercise, you know, when you just, you know, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then just kind of just be, just be who you are, you know, which would make me a lot more comfortable in talking about this work because I'm an actor. I don't like talking about my work so much. I like just being the work. Wow, man, that's... Yeah. The, like, being with actors who you respect, like you, is... I don't know, man, it makes you just want to aspire, you know, to just better work. And, and, and I'm curious, you know, what, what is it about working really as an, as an actor that you, I don't know, just it like, it, it, does it bring something up behaviorally? Do you feel like it's a therapy of sorts or is it the accolades? Do you do it for when you show up on the red carpet, the fans like, ah, you know, Josh and, all that kind of stuff. Like, how, how, how do you feel about all that stuff? Wow. That's a good question. That's a good question. We say we do it for ourselves, but we really do it for the fans. The fans are really what count here, you know. What's fun is being able to be scared by a role, to really push and challenge yourself behaviorally, to try to do different things, but at the same time, 
There's just, there's nothing like somebody just sitting there, just giving you the goods. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know if it was something that I was born with or if it's something that I cultivated, but being able to take in people's love yeah. is a big thing for me, you know? And giving is wonderful. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that giving is, is not a good thing, but taking is one of the better things in life, I think, you know? And, and, and when you give a performance like I gave in this, oh my God. Like, I want to give to me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Put me on the Fritos, Bill. Listen to me, you slack jawed tub of guts. I know the Tillerson's paying you off, but hear me when I say my West Pastor is my West Pastor. The acting, and I want to bring it back to the acting, but, you know, I do feel comfortable now. Thank you for, for telling me to take that breath because I do feel <laughs> much more comfortable. What, how, do, how does it work with your family? I know you have a, a one-year-old and a three-year-old, and you have older kids, and I know your daughter's an actress, and she's doing amazing on Yellowstone. She's working with Patricia Arquette right now. So do you feel competitive with your kids, you know, uh, ever? I do, you know, especially the one-year-old and the three-year-old. Like, the fact that my, my older daughter's an actress, I mean, she's already out of the house, and she's doing her own thing, but... My younger kids are really trying to take the limelight from me right now. It's tough, you know. We, we don't really use, you know, a babysitter or a nanny, really, so we're around them all the time. And, and when I'm walking down the street, when somebody says, hey, man, I love your work, it's real. it makes it all worth it for me. But right now, there's been a lot of, like, oh, my God, what a cute little kid. And I'm like, hello. You know, and that's why I'm so happy that this series has come out because for me to be able to take the onus away from my young children and back onto me is a really important thing, I think, not only, you know, for, for the longevity of my career, but really the trajectory of my emotional wellness. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be a better father the more accolades I get. And I think in the big picture of things, it's gonna make them happier children when they get older. It's kind of fucked up. I have kids too. I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. That's, that's so funny, you do too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I always found that, that having kids and all that was, was really, I, I, don't, I don't know, it, it, to me the kids came first, you know, and the acting kind of came second. But you know, I mean, to each his own. You are your own person. And like I said, I have a massive amount of respect for you. The... When Marvel came along, like what was that? When they said, do you want to play a 700 pound, eight foot purple guy? Were you like, yes, like that's, like, is that, was that for the kids? Because it, it didn't, I know it made a lot of money, but it didn't feel like a kid's movie per se. <laughs> oh God. Thanos, 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 wow. I mean, that was, that was a huge, huge undertaking for me, you know? I mean, when you're, when you're, I know my status of an actor, you have my kind of gravitas. Yeah. It's, you know, I understand why they would go, hey, that guy could kind of bring some real weight to the purple dude. And what a lot of people don't know is that when they came to me, it was for a cameo. You know, it was, it was basically to just, I think it was just a little thing in uh, Infinity War. And what ended up happening is I blew everybody away so much that they ended up making two movies out of it. Crazy. You know, and one is the fifth biggest movie of all time and one is the biggest movie of all time. Wow. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with me, but you know, one would think, you know? Yeah. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. I did a lot of research. I took a, I got together with Elon Musk and, um, he hadn't sold those tickets yet, the rocket tickets, but he and I went to space. And we ended up spending a lot of time up there. I talked to him about a lot of different things and, and uh, you know, he kind of educated me because 
I mean, where do you take it? Like, what kind of research do you do? You don't just go to acting class. I have an acting coach that follows me around and he'll tell me when I'm doing bad or good. But with this, it was more like, hey, like, you're gonna snap and you're gonna kill half of, you know, existence. Like, what in your life can you use that parallels with that? And I'm like, gosh, nothing. But I do feel it was a, you know, it was a top-notch performance. We were so hoping to get nominated for that, but Marvel's stuff doesn't really get nominated right now. But if they did, I think that we would have. You know, the fact that, that, that Dune got nominated, Denis Villeneuve to me is a, is a genius. And, and, and I've said it before, him not getting nominated to me was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of because it did win six Oscars, which was huge. I mean, huge for us because I do think it's an incredible endeavor, especially because it had been done before by David Lynch. Um, and it's a very dense book to be able to interpret it in the way that he did and make it as accessible as he made it. Dune, I think, is a, is a great hybrid of high art and uh, accessibility to uh, a wider audience. Are you sleeping? I'm s Should I wake him up? No, I was listening. I was listening. Thanks for spending the time talking with me, man. I appreciate it. I hope we get to do this again sometime. Good luck. But do you feel competitive with your kids, you know, uh, ever? I'll let him talk more later. <laughs>